What's up guys, my name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS on laptops. So on today's video guys, if you have laptop, I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS really quick. Okay, so the boost of FPS that we're gonna do is really simple and quick. This is not a really insane FPS boost because on laptops, it's more easy to boost your FPS. All right, so first of all, what we're gonna do is go to the settings on Fortnite and we're gonna change some settings. Go to the game settings, scroll down, and if you have laptop, disable all the replay settings. As you can see, we have record replays, record large team replays, Replays and record creative mouse replays. Deactivate all of them because this will take hard drive space and performance. And if you want to have the most quantity of FPS on laptops, deactivate this. Now what you're gonna do is go to audio, scroll down, and as you can see, here's the sound settings. Check the sound quality if you have this on high. If you have the sound quality on high, put on low. Go to subtitles and click on options. If you have activity subtitle, deactivate this. The text size put on extra small. The text color put on white the text border on none and the background opacity on clear apply and what you're gonna do next is go to display and over here as you can see here's a lot of settings the window mode always on full screen if you play on laptop and the fps that you're having are really bad put the lowest resolution on the display mode and also don't forget that the rendering mode need to be on performance no matter what type of laptop are you using put performance mode once you have the performance mode activated the frame rate limit okay depending on the quantity of fps that you're having if the case that your laptop only reach 60 fps put on 120 if you reach 120 put on 144 and you're gonna do the same if you have 144 160 165 but if your laptop reach easy 240 fps leave it on 240 fps don't put 360 and don't put unlimited because you will waste the performance of your pc only forget this quantity of fps now on the graphic quality put all on low no matter if you like to use textures on epic or beauty distance on epic put everything on low including the meshes the meshes is the most important settings that you need to have on low because this take a lot of performance so please make sure to have this on low apply and with these settings you're actually boosting your fps now what you're gonna do is close the game okay so first thing first press the windows key now click on the settings over here we're gonna have the windows settings and what we're gonna do is change some settings okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is go to gaming make sure that the xbox game bar is deactivated because this take performance now click on game mode and on my case i don't like to use the game mode options because for some pcs this could affect the performance when you are playing any game what i recommend you guys is activate this and try it probably you can get better fps but if you don't get better fps the activate this option as you can see on the description it says that when game mode is on windows optimize your pc which i think is a lie so on my case it doesn't work but you should try this probably this can help you now what you're gonna do after you test these game mode options is go to graphic settings over here is really important as you can see i only have the nvidia rtx voice but you should put here the game that you want to boost the fps but before you put the game make sure to test this out the hardware accelerate gpu schedule is supposed to boost your fps and also reduce the input lag but in my case i don't like it because anytime that i use rtx voice there is an issue with this option but you should try this out or none as you can see you need to restart your pc to apply but in my case i'm not gonna use it but you should try these settings also probably you can get better fps and the input delay will be reduced but in my case i'm not gonna use it so then once you test this out also we're gonna go to graphic performance preference over here you need to put the game that you want to boost the fps but remember that you need to go to the local files and put the game on the graphic performance preference on my case it's really simple because i know where is fortnite located so what you're gonna do is click on browse and you need to find fortnite okay so i'm gonna put it right now remember that it's on epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win 64 and over here as you can see we have like four clients make sure that the one that you will choose is this one fortnite client win 64 shipping that's all is the one that has more size as you can see it has like 253 megabytes or 253 thousand kilobytes so choose this one once you choose the app what you're gonna do is click on options and as you can see what do you prefer for graphics performance power saving or high performance because you want to boost the fps we're gonna choose high performance as you can see the 
GPU is the 1650, once you choose the high performance, click on save. So anytime that you're running Fortnite, the high performance will be running, which means that all the power of your laptop will improve the FPS on Fortnite. Okay, once we activate this, we're gonna close this out, and what we're gonna do now is go to the Windows key and type Edit Power Plan. Here's the Edit Power Plan. You need to open this option. As you can see, here's the Power Plan. Okay, go to Power Options. Okay, once you click on Power Options, you can see we're gonna have the Power Plans here. Okay, so we have two customs. These are like added for me, but the ones that you will find on your PC are these three. What you're gonna do is choose the one that I'm gonna show you right now. As you can see, we have the Balance, Power Saber, and the High Performance. Yes, you need to use High Performance. And remember, guys, that if you play on laptop, make sure to have the charger plug into your computer so you will not have any problem and also activate the high performance now you can close the power options and you need to download the files that i'm gonna leave you in the description okay so here's my website i'm not gonna lie guys this website has ads and what you're gonna do is sometimes it will show you a pop-up like this as you can see if you find something like this just close this and that's all now you need to go to the last post and you need to scroll all the way down until you find the download button click on the download and as you can see here's the pack what you're gonna do now is only press the download button and as you can see it will start to download the pack that we're gonna use for this video okay so once you download the pack remember that you need to have winrar or 7zip to extract this pack as you can see i'm not gonna lie here's the folder so you can see guys that you are actually downloading the right pack inside the winrar you will have this folder on this folder you have three steps once i extract this folder as you can see i have three steps also so make sure that you are downloading the right pack okay so once you download the pack as you can see here's three simple steps cpu booster epic games and the fortnite priority for the cpu booster just open this out and as you can see you will find power control install the app power control click on yes i'm gonna install really quick the app that we're gonna use to boost the fps once you install the power control as you can see it will show you this first what you're gonna do is check if you don't have any type of update on this power control remember that if this app has a new update it will give you more fps so the last version is the 3.0 and we're using the 2.0 so i'm gonna activate the last version just click on this link and as you can see it will choose update for the new version all right so this is the new version and what you're gonna do is only two simple steps as you can see you probably will not understand what is happening so what you're gonna do is something really simple you need to disactivate all of them once you disactivate all of them just click on show advance and as you can see make sure that every single one is 100 percent this will help you out to use all the cores of your cpu which equals more fps as you can see i have 12 in total and we're gonna use the 12 cores so once you put the 100 percent of everything and you disactivate all of them click on apply and what you're gonna do only is click on okay once you click on ok as you see it just close automatically but don't worry if you go to the background apps as you can see here's the power control as you can see all the cpu cores are activated so it just went to the background apps so you don't need to have this tab open anytime that you want to play something don't forget that this app will open anytime that you turn on your pc which means that if you want to use power control to boost the fps you don't need to open this every time that you turn on your pc because this will open automatically so click on ok now we're gonna go to the epic games on over here you're gonna have commands that the epic games has to boost the fps on fortnite just open the commands and you need to copy these commands as you see on the cpu power control it show you that we are having 12 cores so what we're gonna put on use all available cores you need to put space and 12 because we have 12 cores you can check how many cores you have on the power control so make sure how many you have and put the quantity of cores that you have on use all available cores now what you're gonna do is open the epic game launcher and once you open the epic game launcher what you're gonna do is click on the profiles of the epic games click on settings scroll all the way down and as you can see here's the manage games you need to open fortnite and you need to activate additional command line argument here's you need to paste the commands that you copy as you can see here's all the commands that i copy remember to put the right course that you're using because if you don't put the right course it will not work properly so once you put the commands you can close this just come back and that's it and for the last thing is the fortnite priority open the fortnite priority folder here's two priorities the normal and the high for the normal is if you want to combine the fortnite high priority to the normal and the high will make your fortnite have more fps what this is gonna do is only activate the high priority anytime that you have fortnite open which means that all the performance of your laptop will focus only on fortnite if you want to activate this just double click this out click on yes click on yes 
and click on OK. If you don't like the Fortnite high priority, just activate the normal one and you will have the normal priority back, which is the usual Fortnite priority that we're currently using. But I activate this, so probably I will have better FPS. I'm gonna leave it like that and you can now close the folder. I'm not gonna lie, there is a plenty of apps that can boost your FPS more, but I don't want to you guys install weird apps that you don't know or that you are scared about because usually if I show you an app, a lot of people is like, bro, the FPS, blah, 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 blah. It worked for me, but on some cases doesn't work for the people who is complaining. So I don't usually show you apps that you don't know because sometimes my subscribers are kind of weird. Okay, so once you activate this, as I told you, you can close this folder and now we're gonna open Fortnite. Okay, what I'm gonna do is show you the FPS. I'm glad to have six gigabytes of RAM usage because it's really good. 240 is stable FPS. I'm using the GTX 1650. Usually all the gaming laptops has this GPU. So you will get this quantity of FPS. As you can see, it's 240 stable FPS. But I'm going to remove the 240 to unlimited to see how many FPS we can get with this. Okay, as you can see, we're reaching 500 FPS. Also, we're not using a lot of RAM usage. Also, guys, don't forget that I'm recording. So the FPS, if I don't record, will be really, but really better. So it's not pretty bad at all. Okay, guys, so that's how you can boost the FPS for laptops. This wasn't like a crazy FPS boost video because it's for laptops and laptops doesn't need really crazy FPS boost because you can get a lot of FPS on laptops with the right tweaks. If you do run tweaks, you will have worse FPS, but if you do a really good tweaks, you will have better FPS than a normal PC. So guys, if you want me to try anything else, if you want me to make better FPS boost video, let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to use code Slappy and subscribe. My name is Slappy and I see you soon. Bye-bye.